Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Visualizing and Representing Numbers from 0 to 100. And now, let's remember some of the animals that the children encountered in the zoo and, of course, the animals that they didn't see there. So, of course, they didn't see the flamingo, so there was zero flamingo in the zoo. So, this is the number word for zero, and this is the number symbol for zero. Next, this is the number word for one, and this is the number symbol for one. There was one elephant there. Next, there were two hippopotamus in the zoo. Again, this is the number word for two and the number symbol for two. Next, there were three tigers there. So this is the number word for three, and this is the number symbol for three. Next, there were four lions in the zoo. So this is the number word for four, and this is the number symbol for four. Next, this is the number word for five, and this is the number symbol for five, and there were five monkeys there. Next, there were six giraffes in the zoo. So, this is the number word for six and the number symbol for six. Next, there were seven peacocks in the zoo. So, this is the number word for seven and this is the number symbol for seven. Next, there were eight zebras in the zoo. So, this is the number word for eight and the number symbol for eight. Next, there were nine owls in the zoo. This is the number word for nine, and this is the number symbol for nine. And these were the nine owls in the zoo. And of course, there were ten parrots in the zoo. So, this is the number word for ten, and this is the number symbol for ten. This time, let's look at numbers from 11 to 20. So, we have here... 11 leaves, 12 flowers, 13 clover leaves, 14 flowers, 15 maple leaves, 16 roses, 17 flowers, 18 flowers. 19 blue roses and 20 threes. There you go. We can also start counting bigger numbers using the skip counting by 10. So we have here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So now, I'm going to show some examples. So for example, we have 20 flowers and 5 flowers together. We will have 25. Now if we have 30 flowers and 6 flowers, then we'll have 36 flowers and all. Now, there are other ways to count, especially if the number is more than 10 already. We may use these blocks to count numbers that are more than 10. So, we have here, this block is called a unit and counted as 1. This group of blocks is counted as 10. This is called a rod. And this group of blocks is called a flat and it is counted as 100. Example, we have here two rods or 20 blocks and then four units. So we have 20 plus 4 equals 24 blocks. So we have 24 blocks in all. Another, we have four rods or 40 blocks and... 5 units, so when we combine them, we have 45 blocks in all. 
Now, of course, if we combine all the 10 rods together, then we'll have 100 blocks in all, or a flat. Good job, my dear grade 1. Now you already know how to visualize and represent numbers from 0 to 100. Good job!